So we're here with Sharp's Beyond 4K Ultra HD TVs. Everything they show has that kind of like ultra real effect where everything kind of looks like a soap opera. And I don't know why you would want to spend more than like a down payment on a decent car for something that makes your footage all look worse. If you buy a 4K HD TV, if you can afford it, uh, you can objectify women with, you know, more realism than ever before. Whites are truer. I can't really tell what that means. Does that mean it's not eggshell white? Instead, it's just white white? What's white white? I'm not really, I can't tell the difference. No, seriously, why is this the footage they chose to show? Yeah, cool, hot women. Hey, it's about reaching out to nerds. You're a nerd at CES. You have trouble picking up women. Get this TV and you'll be able to seduce all the ladies. They're taking two technologies that you don't need to buy right now, 4K and 3D, which no one seems to have ever wanted in the first place, and kind of just smacked them right together. Behind me, we've got a 98-inch 8K screen. Now, that's so high in resolution that there's actually no video content you can get for it. Basically, it's fantastic for playing slideshows of photos you take on your $3,000 Canon camera. This is LG's Curve 105-inch cinematic experience display. Its aspect ratio is 21 by 9, as opposed to 16 by 9, like what you'd see on a regular HDTV. That comes with one caveat. Uh, you can't buy video in that format. When you buy video in HD format, it's in 16 by 9, like the millions of TVs that are actually available on the market. So here at the Alcatel booth, we've got one of the other fun demonstrations that companies will do where they actually add negative effects to other tech to make it look bad. But they've introduced a bit of lag, they've introduced some weird pixelation effects at the edge of things, and they're like, look, this is so much better than this, even though it's actually just something that they added to prove a point about older products that I've never actually seen on old TVs. All of this is pointless, all of this. I feel like I'm losing my mind, but hey, 4K, Woo! it's depressing. Yeah.